Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare at Code UK, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I can deploy my Umbraco website to Umphost, which is the new Umbraco hosting service. So, um, Umphost, who they are, they are a new hosting company, um, and I think it's mainly run by one person at the moment, that's Aaron Sadler. Um, I've been dealing with him directly and uh, he's great. So he helped me get one of my sites on there already. And uh, now I'm also putting my co-chair on there. Um, so the hosting service is already on Braco V9 ready. You can do uh, .NET framework sites from 4.5 and above. And it's got support for uh, things like web deploy um, and FTP and Azure DevOps deployment, release pipelines, things like that. It's really uh, reasonably priced as well. You can get a standard site for just £10 a month. Um, and you've got a good amount of disk space and server memory and database. And then it goes up in £5 increments. So you can do UMSAS. So if you didn't actually want to build your Umbraco site, but you wanted one that was in Umbraco, um, he, he could install a starter kit for you. And one of mine is on there, so that's quite good. And there's some uh, cool starter kits there. Um, and then the other option is a standard plus, which is what I'm using for this code share deployment. And you get a bigger database, more server memory, more disk space. Um, but I still think you get the same uh, customer service, which has been great all the way through so far. So let's get into it then. Um, what I want to do is get my website code share over to this. And the first thing I need to do is script my database. So I need to script my database so that I can take it down, um, take a copy of basically my database, and I can install that onto my new clean database that I've been given uh, from Unpost. So I go into, I right click on the database name, I go tasks, and I do generate scripts. Then we get this wizard, and what I want to do is uh, click on next. Now there is a helpful article about this in the knowledge base. I'll put a link to all the knowledge base articles that I use. So here's the article that I'm going to follow along with. So I'm going to right click tasks, generate scripts, um, choose next, and then click tables, um, save scripts to a specific location, and then you choose the file name that you want. Click on advanced, and then when you get to advanced, you need to make sure you choose schema and data, and then it's true for full text indexes and true for indexes. So that's what I've done. So I'm going to get this file from my location. So I'm going to copy this down. There we go. So now that I've copied that down, I just want to edit it with Notepad++. And the first thing I need to do is change the database name. So I'll just get my database details. You'll be provided all these details by Unpost. So this is the name of the database that I'm going to use on the new server. So um, I've just done that and I can copy this and then I'll go into my, I've connected to my database. So the way I connected to my database was by going here, I did server name is mssql.onbehost.net. You put in your login and your password, but you also have to make sure that you put in your um, database name as well. But I'm already connected. Um, that, so now that I'm here, I've got an empty database. It's got no tables, just got system tables, etc. So I want to do a new query. And I want to paste this in here. So what it's going to do is it's got use that database and I'm just going to execute that. And this will basically create a replica of the current database that I have on my server and put it into this database. OK, so that's uh, executed successfully. So the next thing I want to do then is just go into my project and I want to add a config transform. Now, this is just based on the way I'm doing it. So what I'm doing is I'm just I want to create an unpost one because I already have a, a live and a staging. So I'm just going to create one for unpost. So if I do new and then just call it unpost. There we go and close that. And then if I go down to the config files, I'll just right click on here and do add config transform. 
And then hopefully that now has added, so I don't need the web.debug one, but that will have added me a unpost one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the one that I have for live and I'm going to edit the connection string. So when you edit your connection string, you just need to make sure that you use the data source. So you basically need this connection string. Your data source is that. Your database name goes in there. Your ID goes in there and your password goes in there. So now we've got that set up, we can move on to the next step, which is to log into our um, panel. So if I sign out and then sign back in again, just so you can see it. So this is the panel that you get when you log in and I've got two sites with them. So this is my second site. And if I just click through to websites, we can see that this is codeshare.co.uk. Um, so on this panel, what I want to do is I want to be able to uh, create some web deploy login details. So I need to click on the site name and then I need to go to web publishing. And then under web publishing, I need to just put in a password here. So I'm just going to generate a password and I'll put that in. So I've got my password. Enable that. And now that I've got that, I can download this profile as well. So I can, and that will contain the password and everything that I need in there. So I'm just going to download that. So now I've downloaded my file, I've got my web deploy details and I'll be using web deploy via AppVea. So I'm going to follow along with this article, uh, which shows you how you can deploy from AppVea. Now, one of the differences here, we've got the server there, uh, slash MS deploy and then site equals and then site name so what we want to do is we just want to make sure that we do question mark site equals and then codeshare.co.uk so that's what the site needs to be um, and actually it should be slash ms deploy actually i'll just copy this like that and then site equals OK, so that's what I'll be using. So now what I'm going to do, um, that's just me adjusting this for AppVea. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create an environment for AppVea to um, to handle the deployment. So if you've not used AppVea before, I have done a video and a, a blog post about AppVea, but I'm not going to go too much into what AppVea is and how you use it. But I'm just going to show you how I'm doing it for this. So I've just logged into AppVea. I've clicked on uh, environments, new environments. So I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call it unpost.codeshare.co.uk. The server I'm going to get from my file that I had here. So this is my server value. My website name is going to be um, codeshare.co.uk. Again, I'll just consult with the uh, document. That's right. And then I'll put in my MS deploy username and password. And here I need to do codeshare.web.zip because that's the name of the artifact that I'm going to be deploying. I'll put the password in in a second. So with AppVea, we have an AppVea.yaml file, and that file lives in here in the root of my GitHub repo. And uh, this is what the file looks like. Currently, I'm using the live configuration, so I want this to use the unpost configuration that I've created earlier. And the name of the environment I want to use is unpost as well. So this is how I'm doing it. And so what I do is when I want to change where it deploys to, I do that by changing the name and the configuration. So I do it can change between um, UAT, live, and now on post. Um, you might want to do it differently so that you can just promote your deployment from preview to staging to live without having to do the build every time. This is how I'm doing it. Um, it's not necessarily the best way to do it, but this is how I do it. And this is what my AppVea YAML file looks like. So now that I've updated this, I'm just going to go into here and I'm just going to check that I've got everything I need. So it's picked up a change to some files. So it's picked up that I've got my configuration for um, host. Um, it's picked up that I've 
done some thing with the release so i don't think i meant to so i'm just going to stage my change for the configurations that i've added and i'm going to stage my change for the app player file and the solution file i don't think i meant to change anything in the release so once I push this, what it will do is it will trigger a build in AppVea, and then that will deploy this to the um, to this website. So let's just do this. So added on post config and AppVea settings. Let's commit that, and then I'll go into AppVea again. Just need to push that, I forgot to push. And now I'll go into AppVea. And in the AppVea, on the CodeShare V8 project, I can see that there is a build coming in. So what it's going to do is it's going to start uh, logging out now. It's going to try and do the build. And then um, at the end, it will deploy it out to the site. Fingers crossed that that will work. One other thing we can do as well is log into the panel and just uh, check the files before this happens. So if I go to that one and I go to websites and then file manager, at the moment what we can see is that there is only a default site in there. So while we wait for the logs, for I can see that that's all happening there. While we wait for that, what I'm going to do is just add a record to my Cloudflare account for this uh, Umphost. So if I do a C name and I put in Umphost, and then the C name that I need to put in, the, the target that I need to put in is that. If I just take that off, that's the target. And then I'll save that. So that means now we have an entry here for that. Now, there is something to say about Cloudflare. So I use Cloudflare for my website, and that is, it gives me free, um, it gives me free DDoS protection. It gives me um, free CDN. It gives me free SSL certificate, all those sorts of things. So uh, I really do rate Cloudflare. And um, what you can do as well, if you go with um, Umpost, you can get them to manage your domain for you. So if you can buy a domain, you can transfer it to be managed the DNS servers by them, and they can then set this up for you as well if you wanted to. So that's one service they offer. Um, also, if you are to use Unpost, I think you might need to be on Cloudflare with your DNS, just because of something to do with domain name flattening, especially if you don't have like a www route or something like that, if you just want to use like codeshare.co.uk and not the www, but you can talk to Aaron about that. All right, so I've got that set up. Let's have a look at the logs. So if we scroll down to the end, has it worked? So it says it started a deployment on host and it's build success. So actually it looks like it's probably worked. And if we just go into here, we will see either the default site or we'll see code share on there. Another thing to note about while we wait for that is if you have a look on SSL, what we can do is I've got a full strict, which means that it's encrypted end to end. Um, and it means that you need to have a certificate installed on the server and Umhost do offer this as well. So if you wanted to use the Cloudflare full strict certificate, you can do that. Um, and so all you have to do is they give you a CSR request file. You then go into here and what you can do is you can choose origin server and then create a certificate. And then they use your private key and CSR. You paste that in there and you tell them the host names that you want, which is what I've got here. And then you create. And then what it will give you is another file back and you just copy the contents of that file and save it as whatever you want to call it, .pem, and you send that back to OnPost, and they'll be able to install the certificate for you. Now, look at that. That's all on there already. So that's great. That's actually worked. It um, was that easy to, I just had to script my database. Um, I just had to update my AppVea file, add the connection string for my database, because I put the database into there, and then I just created an environment in AppVea. 
and I did the push in Git, which was picked up by Anthea, and it did the build and the release. And now my site on this subdomain is hosted there, and it's got a valid certificate because um, I already set that up with Aaron, you know, beforehand when I was testing it. So at the moment, the images aren't working, but that's just because I've not pushed the images. I do use Usync Complete, so what I'll do is I'll just push the media up and that will all be fine. So I know that that's going to work. So I'm not concerned that the images aren't there. And that's the beauty of being able to use a Usync Complete. So I'm really happy with that. So what I'll do is once I've pushed all the media over there, then I'll just update my Cloudflare DNS entry for the main site URL. And I'll be um, having CoShare hosted on um, Umphost. So let's just recap then. So Umphost, um, very easy, Umbraco hosting. One of the biggest selling points is that they are an Umbraco expert and that they can help you along the way, as they did with me. Uh, and yeah, it's only £10 a month on the standard plan, 15 on the UMSAS and 20 on the standard plus and that's what i'm using there apparently using complete uses a lot of um of the server memory so you need to have the one gig server memory as opposed to the half a gig server memory if you don't have app Veya, you can use um, azure pipelines you could use ftp so you can just push the file you know put the files on there yourself you could also uh, use something um, like Visual Studio Publish as well. So you can do all of that and publish with those MS deploy uh, detail, web deploy details, sorry. So I hope you find this useful. Um, if you did, please click like um, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, maybe check out on post. So yeah, I think that's it. I'll end the video there and uh, hope you find it useful. All right, take care, bye.